Okay guys, um, we are going to put some assembly lube on our connecting rods now and then we're going to torque them down onto the crankshaft. So I'm going to take some of my assembly lube and put some on the connecting rod bearing here. Just move it around with your hand. Try not to get it up in, up in the machine surface areas here. down and grab the cap. Do the same thing. Doesn't have to be absolutely doused in this stuff. But it should be okay. <clears throat> Alright, now we're going to take the rod. And we're going to check our numbers. It's gonna go like so. We're gonna make sure one number type of a number is up. Grab the connecting rod very gently. And grab our top cap, spin it around the way it needs to be. Make sure our surfaces are clean. Drop it in there. You may take some finagling to get your. Cap all the way on there. Okay, let's see how the bottom. Yep, they're pretty much on there now. Oh, not quite. Sometimes it just takes a little bit of wiggling to get it to come together. And then the bolts should bring them together fully. And just take one of our bolts and just put it right through the top there. Make sure you have your um, ultra torque lubricant on it as well. Very um, important. And get it on the top of the rod bolts and on the caps where the, surf the bottom of the screw sur bolt surface is going to connect. And uh, you do this on each of them and just in this particular circumstance with the ARP2000 uh, bolts, we will be torquing them to 10 foot-pounds each evenly and then to 45 foot-pounds in one full pull. And we'll cover that in the next video.